Welcome to the show. Today's guest is a market leader who is here to share some invaluable knowledge that you just can't get anywhere else. Let's face it, when you need some help and you're looking for the right professional, you really need to know what questions to ask. Today's expert will give you some great insight to help you make the best decision in no time. Starting your gymnastics journey. How to get kids started in gymnastics. Girls and Boys Gymnastics recreational classes that are part of the developmental program based on USA Gymnastics guidelines for training. Traditional gymnastics classes are based on skill ability and age. Classes will emphasize the formal introduction to proper training technique of the bars, beam, vault, floor exercise, flexibility training, strength training, and more. Each class is carefully constructed to motivate your child in a fun and progressive environment with the primary emphasis on safety and proper training methods for injury prevention and physical growth while keeping the training guidelines set forth by USA Gymnastics, the national governing body of gymnastics in the United States, parallel to the instruction, safety, and overall quality of this time-tested class experience. And few sports can allow them to achieve these as well as gymnastics instruction. Even at the earliest stages of childhood development, gymnastics powerfully and positively increases their physical and emotional capabilities. In many ways, it can be used as a launching pad for their lives. Physically, it strengthens their core, increases flexibility, and improves their coordination. But possibly even more influential on their lives are the mental skills, both intellectual and emotional, that will make a rock-solid foundation they can use to build upon whatever they wish. One unique and I think extremely valuable attribute gymnastics has is the duality of both self and team. The child works hard to improve their skills and often ends up competing against their best friends. But at the same time, there is the team aspect of group pride and encouragement. It is a wonderful promotion of sportsmanlike conduct and teaches them both how to win and lose with grace. Stay tuned for our next episode, Cheermastics. What do cheerleading and gymnastics have in common? See you next time. See, it really is that simple. Now you have some great tools to find the right professional to help you get on your way. Would you like to learn more by connecting with today's expert? Just call the number on your screen. Thanks for watching.